we are going to start by framing out our forehead. This just brings in a natural shadow back to the very top of our forehead. Then we are going to frame out underneath our cheekbones. Again, with contour, we're just simply adding shadow back where we naturally have it. Also take it down to the jawline. This hides any kind of double chin action. You can also use contour to shape your nose. This may seem like a frivolous step, but it's going to help bring dimension back to our face. You also see me here contouring around my lips. This is just going to give shape and dimension to my lips. The so next time, don't be scared of the contour. It is actually going to give you a very natural approach to makeup by adding dimension to your face. Anywhere we apply our brightening highlight is going to brighten that area and bring the focus in. So you'll see me take it to the inner corner of my eyes, and then I'm going to take it along the outside of my eyes. It's going to just help with a very lifted look that we're all going for. I'm also going to bring it down my nose, a little bit on my forehead, right down underneath my nose, and then a little bit on my chin. Again, bringing that focus in towards the center of my face. My main highlight is going to be the color that is closest to my face shade. So after I've applied my contour and my brightening highlight, I'm just going to take this shade and fill in anywhere I have not already applied my makeup. The largest areas to cover are on my beard area, right on the apples of my cheek, and then a little bit on my forehead. And when you've done step one and two already, it's really easy to figure out where to apply this. And I'm applying it in this dot method just so you can see better where I'm placing it. Bronzer goes anywhere where the sun is naturally going to tan you. So that forehead, those cheeks, and then I like to cover up my double chin and apply it there as well. And then you're going to see me just blend it in. Bronzer is great to apply before you've applied any of your makeup if you have large pores. And if you're using it here like I am as step four in my makeup routine, it's just going to help even that skin tone and give you a beautiful naturally tan glow. I love the versatility of these lip and cheek shades from Saint because I can use it as blush as you see me applying here. I can also use it as my lip color. Cream blushes work so well. They are also going viral right now because of how well they blend and how well they give a natural flush to the cheeks. And because they're cream, you can actually mix colors very easily and create your own new lip and cheek shades without having to go to the store. We are going to apply the illuminator on the high points of our face, so you'll see me go to the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, this cupid's bow. You can even blend it in with your lipstick a little bit if you would like. And then we're going to go to our cheekbones. By highlighting these high points of your face, you're just going to bring that emphasis in a little bit more and really make those features pop. 